a, a, a paper trying to, to, to make a different population projection, uh, specifically a, a Bayesian probabilistic approach application for the subnational levels uh, in, in Brazil. So uh, just say that population projection in Brazil have been underestimated fertility decline since the 1970s. So I, I discussed a little bit in, in the paper all the official and academic academic projections normally they underestimate the fertility decline in Brazil even in the beginning of the 20 the, the 2000s they were still projecting uh, fertility uh, as a in the replacement level 2.1 and in 2010 we estimated fertility 1.86 so for the last uh, 40 years we have been underestimating the, the fertility decline, which shows the unexpected velocity of fertility decline in Brazil, which has reduced it from six children per woman to less than two in only 50 years. And so the main purposes of this paper is to, to run a, a Bayesian probabilistic projection uh, for fertility. It's, that's basically the the method used by the United Nations to run the, pop, the population project, the fertility projections for the, all the countries. And then we compare which the deterministic projections released by IBGE and the less population projections. So I ran a, an out of sample projection considering the years 1940 and 2010 and to com in order to compare to the results in the 2010 and then a, a projection with the most recent information and then, in order to compare with the, those deterministic projections we, we have there. So, this is the map for Brazil. We have 20, 27 units of federation, 26 states plus the federal di district here, and five major regions, which is just join off some of those units of federation. So, the, the data I'm going to use here is the fertility information for all the uh, Brazilian censuses, we, now we use the indirect estimate, estimation for fertility, and for the, the Bayesian projections, we use the information for all countries, that, which derives from the last revision of the world population pro prospects in 2012. So here is just one slide just to say what are the main assumptions and results of the IVGLS projection. It was basically estimated for, uh, fertility in 2000, 2010, and then we put a limit in 2030, which varies for each UF, unit of federation, and then there is an intrinsic assumption that fertility will keep falling, but there will be a... Uh, there will be some differences in the future. So that's basically how, how it looks like. So some, some regional convergences, but still there will be some differences here. So here are the, the same regions. And the United Nations, I, I call here United Nations Bayesian probabilistic projections. I'm not going, going into details here, but it's, uh, it was proposed in 2011, and for the last two revisions, I think they use it, they use it, this, this method. And in this paper, they encourage the application for subnational data sets, what, that's what I, I'm doing here. And the method includes three phases, the pre-transitional high fertility, then fertility transition from high to replacement level or below, and the, the post-transitional low fertility. So here in the, the Brazilian example, we are most interested in this phase here because we don't, we haven't observed yet this the the recovery of the fertility after the decline. So basically, we are interested in this uh, this model here, which is a double logistic <coughs> regression that relates the the fertility decrement with the level of fertility. So it assumes that the decrement of fertility tends to, after some point it tends to decline with fertility decline. I'm going to show you one, one 
graph later. So here it's the algal sample prediction, which shows that normally the it tends to overestimate the fertility for all the Brazilian states and, and regions. So I have some examples here, Brazil, and the, the red line is the projection and the, the black dot here is the observed in 2010. So it's here, it's for, for the regions, I have this for all the, the states, and here is the, the graph comparing the estimated, actually fertility estimated and the projected. So for all, we can see that all of of those that are above the, this line, so this method tends to overestimate fertility for all, all states, and some of them, this difference is huge considering just about 10 years <coughs> of projections. So I discussed a little bit what could be the reasons. It's so actually, there was an acceleration of the, even for the states that were already below the replacement level, there was an acceleration of decline in fertility. So, in the, there, there was actually some important social advancements during the 2000s in Brazil. We can, uh, I tried to discuss a little bit if it influences the fertility decline, but sharp decline in inequality and poverty, acceleration of improvement in education and infant mortality decline. So it fell 40% in, in just 10 years, the, the infant mortality, which is a huge, Difference. So here is the, the, the model. We can see that the last points tend to show that actually it was an acceleration of the, the total fertility decrement considering the decline in fertility. So it's for Brazil, but for some regions, we can see the same thing. And here it's the actually population projection. Now I, I include the, the most recent points and then project using the same method, using the, the, all the countries to adjust the parameters, and then we, we see that again, normally the, the Bayesian probability projection is estimate the fertility in, in higher levels than the Bayesian project, so here we don't have how to, to see if one is, which one is better, but we can see that there are some important differences. Another thing is that I found it's, it's high high confidence intervals, even if we use 80%, so sometimes we have one children here in 80%, which basically we're seeing that, saying that could vary between 1.1 1 .1 and 2 point something, so it's the high confidence intervals here. Uh, and here the, sa the same uh, graph here showing the, the total fertility rate, actually, wrong here, total fertility rate projected by IBGE and for United Nations, again, for using the Bayesian approach, it tends to estimate, uh, overestimate, not overestimate, but it tends to be estimating higher levels than the, these values here. And for 2015 and for 2030, it's basically the same. And the, the, last, uh, the last thing I want to show, the last graph I want to show you, is the, I'm just comparing the fertility rates estimated here with one measure. I, I did the same thing with education level, but here, average household income. And here, we can see that for this projection from IBGE, we see that there will be a relationship between those two variables, even if we use this. We are actually using the income in 2010 and in the projections in 2030, but just to, to give you an idea of how uh, those fertility changes based on the income level of the, each state. So we can see that the lower fertility are the, the richest, richest states. And using the UN Deja method, we don't see that this relationship. So we, in the in the projections for 2030, we actually see poor country, poor states with low fertility rates, and some rich states with higher fertility rates. So we can let's try to discuss a little bit this this tendencies here. And 
<laughs> just to give some ideas, some, some conclusions and discussions. I think it's it, this, method, this method offers a, a promising, promising alternative for its subnational levels, it, especially because it provides a less arbitrary point estimates. We don't have to choose an, our limit fertility estimates, and most important, there are some measures of uncertainty that we we might want to include. But maybe some adjustment, not adjustment in the model, but how, I don't know how to do each or every of these things, but one thing I, I, I found <coughs> very important is that incorporate agent-specific <coughs> fertility rates because it, it, could, it could have an important, uh, it could, how can I say, it can be related to fertility projection because in Brazil and most of Latin American countries, our fertility schedule is very young, so if you don't consider it, don't take it into account, you could... Actually, this model we only use the total fertility rate, it doesn't, doesn't use the, the age-specific fertility rate, so it would be important to incorporate the age-specific fertility rates. And we can also try to use in the next uh, uh, simulations, other uh, other context instead of the whole country maybe select use as a for adjust adjust the parameters of the model use more similar countries, for example Latin American countries which have other similar characteristics, for example socioeconomic and cultural characteristics instead of just using the fertility age structure and the, the decrement in fertility. So that's it. These are perfectly timed. Let's see if the poster also for a few Questions? Let, let me just ask um, uh, have you thought about using the uh, history of Brazilian fertility decline as a new way to estimate as, as kind of a basis for the, the, the outcome, on, et cetera, uh, forecasts are based on studying countries around the world. So you're assuming that these regions are going to be like country, demographic transitions in countries around the world. But you have a bunch of demographic transitions inside Brazil at the regional level. Mm -hmm. yeah. Could those be used uh, to get a different basis, mm -hmm. I mean, using the same procedure, but you don't use the world algorithm for demographic decision, you use the, the, uh, the Actually, model. yeah, it's, it's a good question, I forgot to say, but when I put the, those states in the model, I, include, I included them also to, as a predictor of the, the model, so, but there are 27 states, but there are 100, 190 countries, so they are there inside the model, so the model is also using the the, the, the information for the states to adjust the historical information, but yeah, maybe they don't have the, the, the enough weight, so there are just 27 states and there are 109 countries, so maybe if we, they are in the model, but... Maybe well, the right interesting that. result of this would be to describe how the Brazilian transition may differ or if there's any, if there's, and if you learn anything about the nature of the Brazilian transition that needs to be included in, 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 in the, the forecast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll take one sec. Uh, which, so two, two things. First of all, how do we know that there's anything wrong with the UN projection? So, I mean, it turned out that Fertility dropped a little bit more, but uh, it might have dropped less, and uh, you know it's within the probability range, and so on. So um, it's sort of a, it's a tough call, uh, I think. And also, I think adding covariates is a tough call. That's sort of going in a in a different direction, and maybe it's troubling that. Um, uh, sort of the covariation of the fertility projected levels with income is, uh, you know, they're uncorrelated or something, whereas empirically they are. But we also, you know, it could be that those areas that ha 
had more rapid economic growth over the previous 10 years might have ended up having higher fertility rather than lower. Do we really know, can we say, looking back, oh yes, we should have understood that then? I don't know. Those are the things I'd be worried about. Mm -hmm. and actually, I think the main uh, conclusion about that out of sample is that it's not, there, there's not a problem in the model, in the adjustment, but it's just a, a change in the, the fertility. Yeah. A change in the fertility. <laughs> so that's the, the, main, the main conclusion of this, the, the first result there. So that's what I tried to discuss. What were, were the, the reasons of the acceleration of the, yeah. No one could expect. Even if we, we, we use the deterministic projection in the beginning of the 2000, we, are, we were not going to, to project a, such a decline. So yeah. we, are not, we never <laughs> tend to project an acceleration for a decline in, in very low yeah. levels. So okay, it's not uh, a, we want to yeah. make sure we get on to Robert. Yeah.